with a new gel called Trinity. It's an all-in-one gel. And I have to say that up until this point, I've never been a huge fan of three-in-one gel systems because all the ones I've ever tried, it's like you can't get the perfect thing out of, out of any of it, right? It's like, it's supposed to be base, builder, and top coat in one, but like the base part of it doesn't really work that well, or maybe like the top coat part of it doesn't really work really well. And I have to say that Trinity actually does what it says it's going to do. I'm really excited about it. And as someone who my favorite gel has been Enhance, for those of you that haven't checked it out, Accents makes this gel called Enhance. It's my absolute favorite builder gel because it's just like silky. It is a little bit more viscous. So for those of you that are beginners, you're probably like, Liz, that gel is way too thin for me. How do you use it? Um, but that's the one I've used in all my videos. So all of my other tutorials that you guys have seen where I've been building out the nail and doing the apex and the structure on top, Enhance has been my go-to gel for that just because of the awesome texture and the fact that it self levels so nicely without running. But I have to say Trinity is giving Enhance for a run for its money. Now, the only thing I have to say about Trinity is it is a three in one. And also one of the things that you guys might remember from Accents, those of you that have used Accents for a really long time, um, there was this gel called Trilite. And Trilite was a little bit similar to this, although Trilite can only be cured in a UV only lamp, in a CCFL style lamp. Um, but Trinity can actually be cured in both. So it's LED curable and you can cure it in a CCFL lamp as well if you would like to. And I do like the fact that it's three in one. Um, I have been testing it and I have to say it does do an awesome job. It's also um, very flexible, like more, I mean, talking about hard gel that's flexible is a little bit crazy, but it is hard and it creates a hardness on the nail, but it also like flexes with the nail. So it's not prone to like snapping or shattering or lifting or popping. Um, I even put some on Herman, my husband, and it's on both of his index fingers and it's doing a great job. I do like how shiny it cures as well. So is it something that's gonna replace every gel in my drawer? No, because when I sculpt nails, I do like to have thicker gels for extending the nail plate. I like to have, you know, a more medium gel for building. And this one is a pretty good answer to that. It just is a little bit thinner than Enhance. And I, I think this one is also gonna be great for top coat. It's worked really well um, compared to the ultra gloss that I normally use. So I have to say Trinity is pretty awesome. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really good for those of you that are looking for overlay products, especially hard gel overlay products. If you're not worried about being able to soak it off, this is a great option for being able to just lay down an overlay on the natural nail, have something that's smooth, durable, and you're gonna be able to file off color or whatever you want on top of it. And you can also use it as your top coat. It's not gonna stain because it is hard gel, so it's not as porous as soak off gel, which means that if you put this over French or over lighter colors, um, regardless of whether it's soak off or not, you're going to get really nice stain free results out of Trinity. So I still love my tried and true three favorite products, which is adhere, balance and enhance. Those are my all time faves. But for shorter nails or for quick things on the fly, I think Trinity is going to be awesome. And I do really like the texture of it. And it does do a good job of adhering, building and working as top coat. So let's try it out. All right. So here is Trinity. This is the large jar size. 45 grams, you'll see it has a nice bluish tint to it. And the blue really is, um, so it basically counteracts any yellowing in the product. A lot of times when gels cure uh, because of the photo initiators and stuff in it, it can sometimes yellow. So by having that blue tint to it, it makes it so it's perfectly crystal clear every time. So the 45 gram jar, I highly recommend, if I can get this lid back on here, um, I highly recommend the 45 gram size because per service, it is much less expensive than if you buy the small size. And just as a comparison, if I show you guys one of my other jars, here's what the small size looks like. So you can see this one's only seven grams of gel. This one's 45. And so it's much smarter. If you're going to buy Accents gel, buy it in the large size for the salon. It's going to be much, much cheaper per service. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So Trinity is really nice. I mean, I like the texture a lot and you can even see it move. See how quickly it moves inside the jar like that. So whenever I buy a new gel, I like to do a couple different things. So I like to play around with it and just see what it looks like, how quickly it self levels back inside the jar. And you can see even with that little string, 
it self levels really fast back in. So you can see how kind of thin this is. Um, the other thing I like to do is, as I've shown you know multiple times before, is paint a little bit. So take a little bit of gel on your nail form and just paint it on and then cure it and see what it feels like when it comes out of the lamp. So I'm just gonna paint a nice kind of like medium coat here, kind of like what you would put on as like a natural nail overlay per se. And just kind of like evenly disperse it on the form, okay? And then I'm just gonna stick this in my lamp for 30 seconds and, um, and cure it. Okay, so while that's curing, I'm gonna prep one of my fingers so I can quickly do a, t a little test on you f uh, on my finger for my natural nail. So I'm gonna take my trusty Skyver bit and I'm just going to quickly clean up some of this dead skin over here. I've been actually um, I've been actually testing out IBX. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Famous Names products, and so I actually ripped off all of my nails, just like a client would. I buffed them a little bit, and it hurt so bad. But I did it to show you guys over the next several weeks that I'm doing IBX treatments on my nail, kind of the before and after of what it looks like after you've done IBX every two weeks for a client. And so this is my live experiment, so please excuse my ugly naked nails. Um, but I'm going to prep one of my fingers for you guys so you can see exactly what Trinity looks like when it goes on a finger. So I'm just going to quickly clean up all the dry skin. I love the Skyver bit. It's just so easy to use. It's not sharp and it does a really good job of just cleaning up all that dead skin around the cuticle area. So I'm not going to go crazy with it. I just want to make sure there's nothing there. Because if you're going to test it, you might as well test it like you would in the salon setting. And then I'm going to clean. Okay, and then let this dry. All right, so um, my little sample came out of the lamp. So let's clean it before we touch it. All right, and then we can peel this off. So you can see on the top, it does cure really nice and shiny, if I can get my fingerprints off of it. See how nice and shiny it is? So it does cure really nice and shiny. And the cool thing about it is it is hard gel, so it is pretty firm, but it is slightly flexible. So it does have some give to it. Not as much as like a soak off gel or some of the other gels I've tested, but it does have a nice hardness to it and also flexibility, which I think is gonna be really great for overlays. Like I said, I have it on my husband right now on his short natural nail, so I'm gonna see if it lifts or cracks or peels or anything like that. Um, but I've actually been, I wore it on my nails over the holidays and I really liked it. And, uh, and I even did it without base coat. I just put it right on my natural nail. So this is pretty cool. And this is a great way to test out your gels to see what it's like before you put it on yourself or a client and a great way to test stuff to understand how it's going to wear. All right. So let's put it on a finger. So I'm going to just clean my finger to get all this stuff off of there dry it. Take my handy dandy oval 111 brush. And as soon as this dries. All right, so let's put some gel on this bad boy. Okay, so let me get the jar out of the way so it doesn't try and focus on that. And I'm going to just take, to start, because this is also a base builder and top coat all in one, I want to first apply it like I would a base coat. So I'm going to really take my time and just apply a thin coating on the natural nail cover everything and just work it into the nail plate. So shimmy, 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 get it all in there. Don't just paint it on like nail polish, cap the free edge a little bit. And I'm doing this without any primers, preps, nothing, no base coat. This is just Trinity straight out of the jar on my natural nail. And you have a couple options. You could just cure this base coat and then go back and add more, but I just want to do my little slip layer, I just love that. So I'm just gonna grab more gel on my brush and just go ahead and put a little bit more of a coating. Might've done a teeny bit too much, but I like doing this because it lets me see how the gel self levels and if it's runny. So like if it's gonna run into the cuticle, like now would be the time that it's gonna do it. And it's looking pretty good. 
So it's sitting there, it's not running. Can fix the shape a little bit if I want to, or remove some, pull it back a little bit. Check it from like here. But I can let this sit on my finger and let's just see if it actually does start to run into the cuticle anywhere. Doesn't look like it is. And I've got lots of lights on me right now, so it is pretty dang warm in here. I've got a little bit of a hump on the end. That's okay. I don't know, it looks pretty dang good. What do you think? That's just allowing it to self-level for a second. Pretty dang smooth, pretty even, not running. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. And you can toy with it a little bit more too. That's the nice thing about using a slip layer also is it really does help to control the gel application. So last but not least, I've got a good layer of gel on my finger right now. So why don't we cure this on camera and I'll see if it gets hot for you, okay? And I'm using the Axens Hybrid Pro Lamp. So it is a very powerful lamp. It can cure both UV and LED gels at the same time. So if it's gonna get hot, it should get hot with this bad boy. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna take it out and pinch it. Just give my natural nail a nice shape. Tuck in those corners a little bit so it's not so fat looking. So heat spike, I mean, yeah, a little bit of one. Um, I don't tend to be very sensitive to heat spikes, but there definitely is one, especially if you just jab your hand in the lamp and let it cure. Um, but I had a good amount of gel on my fingernail and I have to say, um, it really didn't burn or anything crazy like that. And it's also actually pretty pinchable too. So I'm gonna clean this just so I can show you what it looks like after it's been cured. And you could cure it a little bit longer if you, you know, I took my finger out for a second to pinch it. So technically I didn't do a full 30 seconds, so I could do that again, but check it out. I mean, it's pretty dang shiny. I like it. And it self levels super nicely. So I've got a nice overlay on my nail and you could literally just leave it like this. So you could leave it nice and shiny. It feels hard. It does have a teeny bit of flexibility that I can feel like I can squeeze the sides of my natural nail. Um, and my good old Irish fingers are always like so pink on camera. Uh, but it feels good. I mean, it's got like, you know, a little bit of flexibility to it. It's nice and smooth. It's really shiny. Um, and I think it's a great product for, especially like those overlay clients. It stays nice and thin at the cuticle area, which is really cool. And you could always buff this, especially for dudes. I think this would be great for guys, especially for a permanent style service, buff this out and make it so it's not shiny anymore. And, uh, or put like a matte top coat on it even. You could do that without, you know, cleaning it. Um, you could put matte on on top of it. So let's just buff this out, get rid of the, the shine. And this is what I did on my husband so that he doesn't walk around with shiny fingers. He likes, he does like the feeling of gel on his nails, but he doesn't like walking around with shiny fingernails. So I usually buff out everything. So I can buff it really nicely, clean it one more time. And it looks really nice and natural. Can't even tell I have anything on there other than it does give me some extra firmness. And you can see my other natural nail versus this one. So it feels pretty dang good. It's very silky too. Once it's been buffed, it's like really nice and silky and smooth. But yeah, I have to say it's, it's awesome. So hopefully this little trial of Trinity helps you out. Um, it is similar to some of the other gels we have in our lineup. I'm not going to lie, but I think that Trinity is different enough that it offers some things that I definitely think this is worthwhile having in your arsenal, being able to address not only like what Enhance does, which Enhance needs a base coat, um, you know, especially for those natural nail situations, maybe just quickly fixing a corner, um, being able to use this as base builder and top coat rather than having to invest in three different things. I think this is great for those of you that really do like working with hard gels. And I think you're gonna find a lot of scenarios where this comes in very handy, especially when you're not really doing full on enhancements. You just need something quick that you can turn to that's gonna fill the void rather than having to break open, you know, three different jars. So Trinity, I'm gonna wear it and see how it, it lasts. I've got it on my husband as well, but as always, Accents is so awesome. I mean, the quality of their gels is just unparalleled. And every time I try something else, I always come back to performance because it is just such an awesome hard gel line. 
Um, I like the fact that it is, you know, it's got that strength. It's got a little bit of inherent flexibility in the lineup and it just has never let me down when it comes to doing services on clientele. So I really recommend you guys try out Trinity, check it out. We've got it on the site at the Nail Hub, seven gram and 45 gram size for you guys to try. I think you guys are gonna love it and it'll cure easily in the Hybrid Pro lamp or you can do two minutes in a UV lamp or CCFL uh, depending on what you own. But I really recommend you guys try it out, especially if you used to use Trilite, I think you're gonna love it. And for those of you that are looking for more of a three-in-one type of gel system, this is the guy to go to. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more videos.